Hi guys, it's Unders. In today's Logic Pro tutorial video, what I've done is I've built an entire drum and bass track, a nice mellowed out liquid drum and bass roller track from nothing external whatsoever, only the sounds and plugins that come inside Logic. And we're just gonna go over some of the techniques I've used in that. I've used all the techniques I've shown you previously in these videos. And if you want, you're able to download that as well. There is a link in the description so you can download the whole project and you can go through it with me or just dissect it yourselves, edit it, make it your own track. If you do edit it and make it into your own, uh, own track, your own production, please drop me a comment below so I can hear what you've done with it. Let's get into that. Okay guys, so here we are in Logic and this is the demo project I've put together just to show you the different features and different techniques we've used so far in these tutorials. If they've been helpful for you, please bash a like on this video, subscribe to the channel and if you've got any questions or anything you'd like to add, anything else you'd like to see, throw it in the comment down below. Now, don't expect to be blown away. This is purely a demo project. I've put it together in terms just to show you guys uh, a practical use for each of the things we've done. This isn't set out to be the most efficient project. For example, I have the drum kit laid out here three different times. One so we can see the drummer settings and how they've been done. One with a plus kit so we can drop it down and see all the individuals and the fact that we can process an individual channel that way. And then one with MIDI converted as well. Um, the samples here are all taken from the Logic library and then edited using the loop browser. And they're all in individual channels. You see how I've muted some and done things like introduced fades to particular areas to cut sounds down. Um, we've got examples here of taking chords and then extending them so that we can have multiple variations. So this really is just a practical thing for you to download and just have a look through the project and see how things have been applied. I've got a binaural channel here taking the Reese tops which only really comes in when it fades in in this part up here. But it's just an example to show you guys what we can do. It's down to you to get creative with it. Um, we've got different chords being used in the same area on different bits of audio. As you see, they're named plus 12 because we've moved them up an octave. Um, we've done a bit of sound design as well in creating little noise sweeps and things like that. So you can see the practical use and application for those and you can really dig in to see how I've made them as well and see the whole patches and save them up if you would like. So don't expect to be blown away by the track but the point is it will explain and help you understand lots of different parts and lots of the tutorial things that we've done in small sections and how you can apply them actually in terms of music. So guys, that'll be linked down in the description. Feel free to download that. If you've got any feedback for me, please throw it in the comments. It's gonna be super helpful. And I will see you guys on the next video.